Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be having a, a little look at the SV1000 again, and what we're gonna do uh, this time is we're gonna fit a timing retard eliminator. Timing retard eliminator, it's just a little tiny box. It's got a few resistors in it, that's all it really is. It's just uh, the box makes it look a little bit more uh, important than it actually is, uh, and a couple of connectors. So all we need to do is uh, plug this into the loom on the bike. Now, what a timing retard eliminator does is advances the timing ever so slightly. Um, by default, uh, what Suzuki have done with this particular model is they've retarded the timing uh, in the first four gears. Now, uh, unsure why, probably an emissions thing, uh, if I had to guess, or possibly just to reduce the torque um, through those gears, just to make it a little bit more manageable, possibly. Um, uh, I'm not really sure. However, what, uh, what the timing retard eliminator does is advances the timing ever so slightly so it gives the uh the plug the optimum time to to fire um in the in the stroke cycle so uh, ideally what we want to do is we want to have the plug fire just fractionally before the piston gets to tdc um in the first four gears what it does is it's actually firing as as the piston is coming back down um at that point though the mixture isn't fully compressed anymore so there is a loss of power and what this does completely eliminates that um, and uh, yeah so it's fairly simple to install so let's get amongst it what we need to do take the seat off take the side panel off and lift the tank Okay, seat off, side panel off, tank lifted. Right, what we need to do is we need to get under here because we need to disconnect the connector. Now, under here, right at the back near the hinge, you can see we've got this little cable clamp here, one of these wraparound style ones, like that. Pop that out of the way. And the cable we're actually looking at is this one here. It's got a blue, pink, and a black wire going into it. And this is the connector that we need to disconnect. Now, there's not a great deal of room in here. Um, let me quickly pop it apart. I say quickly, it's easier said than done. And there we go. And there it is, that's the connector pulled apart. And that is the, uh, this is where the time and retard eliminator is going to fit, as you can see we have the corresponding connections um, to match. So all we need to do is take this end, plug it in, and this end plugs into the other end, just like so. And then what we'll do, tuck the cable down there and put the little wrap around cable tie back in position and that is a time and retard eliminator installed it really is that easy right what we need to do now drop the tank down fire up the bike make sure she runs so there you go uh, as you can see tanks down and resecured Th this mod takes absolutely no time at all it literally took two minutes what um the, the, the hardest part of the job was actually getting the connector apart because it's quite awkward to get your hands into especially when you've got shovels like i have Right, what we need to do next is just fire up the bike and make sure she runs. So there we go. Running beautifully. Now, obviously, the only way you're going to be able to tell if there is any difference is actually by taking it for uh, taking it for a quick blast. Um, the, the timing retard elimination mod should give a noticeable increase in acceleration uh, in the first four gears because it's not being throttled back by the uh, by the ECU. And also, we, we should expect to see um, some, you know, some improved throttle response. So hopefully, um, all being well, we'll, uh, we'll notice that. Now, the timing retard eliminator, that little, that little box that I got there, um, you can pick them up 
on eBay for about 30 quid. I'll stick a link in the uh, I'll stick a link in the description. Um, however, to be perfectly honest with you, all they are, I think, inside is is probably a, a 15 um, kilo ohm resistor um, and joining a couple of the wires together or, or something like that. I'll probably have to have a look into it, but I bet it's not um, I bet it's not that exciting, to be perfectly honest. And you could probably make one yourself for very, very little money. It's just a case of getting the correct connectors. Anyway, um, hopefully you enjoyed this video, guys, and um, feel free to give it a like. Uh, leave a comment in the description um, uh, below the description and um, I'll see you all again for the uh, for the next video. Thanks very much guys. See you later. Bye bye now